The sound of war is deafening across Donetsk. North, west and south, war rages. We are very close to Volgavaka, which is just west of Donetsk. As you can see, the offensive launched by the Republic of Donetsk is very much in full swing. The city of Mariupol, the heart of the Azov Sea and a bastion of Ukrainian troops and nationalist battalions, it is nearly surrounded, caught between advancing troops of Donetsk and Russian units spreading out from Crimea. Ukrainian troops have fallen back and from a distance wreaked destruction on villages and towns they once ruled. As you can hear from the sounds of artillery, the battles here just, just west of Donetsk still, still rage. This used to be, until a week ago, a, a village well beyond the front lines. The Ukrainian positions were, were east of here towards Donetsk. When this, this battle began, the offensive, the Ukrainian military abandoned their positions there. They moved further eastwards, further towards Kiev, and that is where they took up positions when the uh, units of the Donetsk People's Republic began moving into here. They were met with a firestorm of artillery which, which devastated this village. There were many people here. There are now much fewer. We've heard about three people killed in their house, another family that burned up. The barrage of shells and rocket artillery spared few houses. And try as they might, not everyone escaped the devastation. The tragedy here is that this mother and daughter, they, they hid in the basement right, right outside the house. The shell impacted a little further away, right above the basement. The irony, the tragic and sad irony here is that if they had stayed in the house, they might have survived. It's a grisly scene down there, full of, full of blood, images that we don't want to show you. Only the father survived, wounded amid the shelling. He ran for help. Он остался, да, у него рука ранена, он остался просто жив, просто как чисто, и говорит, меня просто волной. А тех, конечно, да, насмерть. Мы похоронили, похоронили, как, знаете, как вот сказать, как собак. Прямое попадание было в дом, я не знаю, как я выжил. Дело в том, что это выйти уже невозможно. Мы, короче, с где-то с полшестого сутки нас бомбят, не останавливаемся. То есть вы смогли пройти вот 30... Да, да, это наш, это наш. Это... От того подъезда до вот этого только через день? Да. И nearby Nikolaevka, which is much bigger, the onslaught was much the same. Here, terrified civilians, women, children, the elderly, hunkered down in a school basement, waiting for Ukrainian military bombardment to end. Here, in uh, nearby Nikolaevka, in a school basement, underground people are existing in, in these conditions, in the cold, without power, without heat. This is all about survival, even though the front lines have, have moved on. They don't dare leave for fear of yet more shelling, which has claimed the lives of, of so many people already. This is too much. They don't even let you bury a person normally anymore. They bury them by the front door, like animals. I'm not crying for myself. I'm crying for my grandson, for my son. My son came out of the basement three days ago and still hasn't come back. They are still shelling. Of course it's scary. But I reassure myself that everything will be fine. They destroyed our houses. There are no windows in our house anymore as shells fell right here. Now we have to rebuild and clean everything up. Right now I'm sitting and thinking, if I leave here, where will I go? No windows, no doors, everything is broken. 
I do not know where I should go now. My granddaughter has had a fever for two days. My house was destroyed. My husband was operated on. His leg was torn through by a shell. On the outskirts, one family apparently decided to brave the shelling at home. It would be their last decision. This house sustained a direct impact. Shell landed in the middle of the house. You can perhaps see the remains of the house are still smoldering. Fires consumed everything, including a family that was in the house at the time. Their remains have been buried, but we have been unable to verify how many people exactly died here. Nevertheless, this scene is being repeated across the Donbass as fighting rages here. And the Ukrainian military retreats, firing back, perhaps in revenge, as they flee.